Welcome to Farm Chicks! My name is Debbie Bissoon and this is my sister, Becky Bissoon. And we are the Farm Chicks. We're going to be visiting farms across Jamaica, exploring the length and breadth of each farm and also featuring the farmers. We're going to be looking at livestock, ground produce and aqua farmers. But we also want to inspire our young people to choose farming as their first choice. Especially women. We yep. want to empower women so that they understand that, hey, farming is for you too and you can do it. Farm Chicks is brought to you by Volkswagen Jamaica, H&L Agro, and Digicel Foundation. Join us for Digicel Foundation Footprints, a monthly show that follows the work of the various foundations as they make a difference in the lives of communities across the Caribbean and the Pacific in their mission to create a world where no one gets left behind. Officer, no respect again. Thanks again, Digital Foundation. So recently, we went to Fidelis Harvest in Clarendon. Mm -hmm. It is a pepper farm. Um, hmm. It's a pepper. You like pepper? You like pepper, don't you? Yeah, but it has to be at a certain level of heat. You know, I don't want it. What do you mean? Too. Like you want it on the outside that says this is a very hot pepper? <laughs> what, what no, you, you can't. All right. So I like. I don't like the extra yellow peppers because you know they probably carry a lot of. Heat. Yellow peppers carry heat? As in the scotch bunny peppers? So the green scotch bunny peppers are hot as well? It's not that hot. Green scotch bunny peppers Obviously are Obviously you've hot. never had green scotch bunny peppers. I have, but, I, but they're still hot like normal yellow pepper. No, I feel like the yellow ones are a little bit hotter than they okay. turn green ones. So, okay. Hey Matthew. Hey, what's going on? I'm very good. How yes, are you? I'm good. Debbie. I'm Matthew. Nice to meet you. So we're here at Fidelis Harvest. Yes, Fidelis Harvest, that's right. Okay, and in, we're in Clarendon, so we're home. We're very happy to be back home. So tell us about the farm. What you okay. have here? Well, we're mainly pepper farmers. Um, currently, we have three acres under production. And we also the cash crops such as okra and sorrel okay. and castor beans as well. Um, so today, you guys are going to be joining us for some plant, pepper planting. I'm really okay. looking forward to that. So Well, we've never planted pepper before. No, we've never done that before. Our mm -hmm. father, though, had a small pepper tree outside the house. Mm -hmm. But that was the most that we got in terms of learning how to do this thing. So you said that these are the, pe the, pe the small pepper, pepper seedlings? seedlings? Yeah. Okay, cool. And um, so you grow them in what? Uh, well, grow them in seed trees. But usually we don't grow them, we purchase them from nurseries who okay. do the production for us. And what would be our substitute if we're doing this at home? Well, you can use a simple flower pot or you can just sprinkle the seeds on the ground and transplant in distances that you want from there. Um, you dry the seeds in your kitchen window, that's something that my mother used to do when I was yeah. growing up. And in terms of fertilizers, you don't really need anything serious because, you know, to provide for a household, it, isn't, it doesn't take a lot. Yeah. So it's something very simple, yeah. What kind of conditions do pepper thrive in, though? Is, does it have to be dry? Does it have to be wet? Okay, well, they don't like too much water, but okay. you naturally, as with all plants, you need to give them um, good water. Um, they also like fairly dry, dry, dry um, climates because you don't want any funguses or anything like that mm -hmm. affecting the plants. Yes. So. Okay, cool. And these are country peppers. Like I know there are several types of peppers. What kind of peppers are these? Uh, well, this is scotch bonnet. Okay. Um, you know, like, Jamaican favorite scotch bonnet. Mm -hmm, I like dance house and sing about it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, cool. And how long do they normally take to, to come to, you know, a okay, good well, from, picking stage? Okay, well, from seed to right here, six weeks. Um, some of these are a bit tall, so they, they pass six weeks. But from there, um, about three months, roughly. Three months? Yeah. Oh, but that's not bad, though. No, it's hey. not bad at all. I can, you can get it shorter than three months with proper care. Okay. And Fidelis Farms provides for a supermarkets in Clarendon and otherwise? Okay, well, so we supply um, a few supermarkets, um, but we mainly do export and processors. Okay. So people that are making sauces and also a few exporters, yeah. Well, I'm ready. Let's get our hands dirty. All right, well, let's what go. What are we going to do? I will grab a tree. All right, cool. All right, 
All right, you want this too? All right, let's go. Let's see. Usually, what we do is we mix a cocktail in a, in the water and cocktail keg. is it like <laughs> alcohol, rum, <laughs> no, like vodka? You know, beneficial <laughs> chemicals to protect okay. the plants. So we drench the plants with it before we plant it. So it saves mm -hmm. us time that we don't have to go through and spray it for okay. the first week. How susceptible is um like a like a, a, a pepper seedling you call them yeah. to to pests? Well, they're very susceptible. Um, usually, if you plant it without first treating them. Um, you encounter like grasshoppers mm -hmm. that, that will cut the, the pepper trees yeah. and you know other pests that go around. But Martha, if I'm if I'm doing this in my backyard and I don't have all these fancy cocktails, what can I use to just deter all of the grasshoppers? Well, you can use home stuff? remedies like um, baking soda, soap. Baking wow. soda. Yeah, baking oh. soda helps um, mix with soap to help stick it onto the plant or and, cooking oil. And I, I sprinkle it on the plant itself. Oh no, so you mix it first. Okay. So you can check online to get the, the um, perfect mix, but um, that's the general idea. Um, but usually because you know, naturally, um, fishermen fish where fish are. Mm -hmm. So in the backyard, they don't have like a lot of um, food for the pests. Okay. So you won't encounter as much problems as we would on a farm. Gotcha. So we will have a higher population of pests compared to the backyard. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. All right. So what we're going to know, because we want to know, know how to plant this. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start planting. All right. So tell us about the farm, though. I see, I see you have some, some um, and the ladies have started. Wow. Uh, we, we have some piping here or some, what, what is this? Okay, like, so um, this is the, these are drip irrigation lines. I will purchase them from Israelic. Okay. Um, so these deliver water from our water source, which is a hydrant um, over there. Um, and that is provided to us by um, Natural Irrigation Commission. So just okay. like we got NWC, we have NIC. Okay. Yes. So this delivers the water directly to the roots of the plants. Okay. So this is more efficient um, because it goes right to the plants. This helps us to um, conserve on, on water. Um, helps us with weed control as well because you don't have water spreading all over. Um, the, the field, so right. um, only where water is needed, water is placed. Oh, wow, okay, cool. All right, well, let's get busy. So, Cedric, so yes. we're here with you, and you are the supervisor here at Fidel's yes. Farm, right? Yes. All right, so explain to us the planting process of the peppers. Um, normally, uh, as you can see, um, you have a, a two, two foot drip, right. drip line. Mm -hmm. So normally you plant at least a pound of pepper. How many meters of that? Like a six inches. Six inches? Six inches apart from the apart from the chip line. Okay. Right there. And then here's the next chip line. Alright. Yeah. As you can see, um this um this this trip line it's so anywhere the holes are yes right yeah it, it, it regulate the water how much water it is it, 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 just a drip mm -hmm. you, you just keep the ground soak okay not too much water right it, not, not something where we're gonna run 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 and flood out the place you know right. just drip 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 and just keep the pepper just keep the pepper uh, moist the ground moist all right yes. so let's continue So these are all vines and them something there? Roots. Roots. Oh, I do that. I, that's what I said, roots. First lesson of farming is that heels are not acceptable on a farm because... But <laughs> so at you're... least my shoes can... Dig, Dig the hole. The hole. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think it could fit. I think it could fit. You know? All right, so let us try this thing again. But this is really hard work, though. It is. It's not easy at all. It's just very hard work. You know what? I see a lot of ladies on Fidelis Farms. It right. means that the ladies have the magic touch. And the girl power. Yeah. We're all farm chicks, man. Yes. Farm. 
I did not expect that. I did not expect such a big farm in a space like that. I, I could not foresee that yeah, yeah. like when we just entered the place. But they are so very organized. They are. Yeah. What were your, what was your first impression? My first impression after going through the bushes was wow, this is an actual farm. Because I just thought it would be a couple lines of pepper. Yeah. But it was an actual pepper farm and it was good to see that they had different crops as well there along with the peppers, so it was an actual farm. Cedric said that we're doing the whole life. I, I see the space behind her, right? I see behind her. Cedric is a lazy brat, right? <laughs> Where Cedric? Cedric, where are you guys, Cedric? Cedric said we're doing the whole line, going down and coming back we're up. We're not taking my ears, Cedric, right? I think the shoes, <laughs> I touched my ears, right? I, I wonder if the shoes are about it, or are you? The shoes and the ears, <laughs> I work together as one. Your shoe. <laughs> we went on the farm, <clears throat> get this in heels. Bad so, idea. Listen, like, don't do this, right? Don't try to be a hot girl on a farm. It don't work out. It did not work out at all not because at all. somebody <clears throat> was running in one of the paths. Needless to say, yeah. See what happened right here. Right here, <laughs> that's what happened. Ready? Yeah. Money mark. on Farm Chicks. We'll be right back. Farm Chicks is brought to you by Volkswagen Jamaica, H&L Agro, and Digicel Foundation. Join us for Digicel Foundation Footprints, a monthly show that follows the work of the various foundations as they make a difference in the lives of communities across the Caribbean and the Pacific in their mission to create a world where no one gets left behind. Rafa said no respect again. Thanks again, Digital Foundation. Cedric, we are in a field of peppers and I mean, everywhere I'm looking right now, peppers, they're ready to be reaped. So how long would we have to wait though for the peppers to get to this level? Well, from, from planting to this level, uh, it take about one, about two to six weeks. Six weeks? Six weeks to two months. Okay. Yeah. Before, okay. Before, before you can start reap. But as soon as you like to reap the first crop, yeah. you don't know, you know, really get much, you know. It's like all one two bag. But it's, it's like a second reaping, and I think second week. Yeah. First reap, reap over this out of the field, low light, but about one, two bag. Okay. This is second reaping, 20 bag. 20 bag? So it will go 40, 60. Wow. Yeah, yeah. In this particular part of the field though, because we were up at that side earlier on, but in this particular part of the field, we're noticing that this is a different planting structure here. So we're, we're noticing that you have a, um, a kind of system that allows for grass not to grow with the plastic covering. Yes, we call it plastic munch. Plastic munch? Yes. Mulch, it, it, okay. You keep away the grass. Okay. Once, 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 once uh, you um, pipe up the place and put the plastic over it, mm -hmm. you keep away the grass off of the pepper. Okay. Because you see if the grass grows into the pepper, then yeah. it, it allows them to stagnate the pepper. Then. Oh, so it would allow the peppers to grow? I'm, I'm, I'm beer as well to beer, you understand? Okay. Yes. And, and then how and do you water the pepper with this kind of system the, as well? The, the drip line. Is yeah. The plastic the drip line here. Okay. Yes, yeah, so when you turn on the water, you know, it, it water the pepper them and fertilize and everything. We run the fertilizer through the irrigation system. Right. Yes, and it drip out from the pepper them. Okay, so how we will... All right, so we see the peppers, they're 
orange in color or yellow in color, um, when would we know for sure that, all right, time to pick them off now? As, uh, as we're in the, I'm going to say we can find an example. Five one. It's like, it's like, it's like, oh, this, this is not so big because it, 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 it's a run down. But if you find it's so soft and peel out, yeah. it, it's not ready. You okay, understand? so when it's soft and it's pale, it's, it's, it's not, not ready. ready. Okay. Uh, but it's true, like, oh, this run down, you know, like, uh, this now, one more already, paper, see, it's tough. Oh, okay. green and shiny. Uh, uh, all right, once it's green and shiny, yeah. So, okay, it, it's, it's ready. Okay. You can see the difference. All right, so I could have picked them green and I can pick them yellow as well. Yes, yes, yes. I think well, if we go more in the field, we can find a couple of big green ones. Uh, yeah, we always see the example. Oh. But a nice big one, it's just a, a ton of yellow. Yes, it's true. Yeah. So is it that after a while, they come, they become yellow after a while, after, the, after they've been green for a while? Yes, because no, they get ripe, all right? They get ripe. Oh, they get ripe. Yes, oh, uh, so right, they have they green pepper and ripe pepper. Ripe pepper. So oh. it, 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 it's the yellow one is the ripe one. All right, well, Cedric, yeah. we're here to help you to reap. Well, so let's, let's, let's go reap Give back in the bucket and I will just pick and throw it inside there. Yeah, all right. Oh, this one is so nice. We have flowers. hands-on experience it so we, we learned how to actually plant peppers so we were taught about you know the, the different centimeters or meters or inches. in the drip system really yeah how far you need to have it away from the hole that the water is coming through right and then we learned to you know plant um, something that the soil you know, they call it just clear up the soil and drop this the seedling in there, cover it up, that kind of vibe. And then it grew over time. <laughs> <laughs> we're learning guys, we're learning. So Cedric, we are in the okra field. So tell us a little bit about okra, how is okra planted and stuff like that. Well, it is very simple. Um, once you have the okra seed, you just actually joke, put two of the seed in there and keep on watering it. So you joke, you just you yeah. know, dig a hole, you just no, joke? No, no, you just catch it on top. You know, really when you plant the oh. seed, you know, really sink it way down in the ground. Oh, you catch it like, on All right, and once the water is there, it comes. And by two, three, four, five weeks, you start getting okra feed. Okay. Uh, Yes. That rhyme, two, three, four, five weeks, you start getting okra feed. Yes, because you are. Nice. Because why? Right. So if you find the tree, the tree is weird, I guess. Uh -huh. Because okra start pumping it. Oh. Okra start bare. And, and, and the more you pick okra, and the more okra come. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. Here's the okra seed. All right. And all you have to do when you're when, when, when planting the okra, okay, so you just make a one joke, drop a two, cover it. And when you're planting when the water turn on, it, it, it water itself because what you're planting is right here. See it right here. So it water drip out it and water the okra and it takes time from. Alright, so Cedric, I noticed that we have some big okra, like they're really, really massive. So what kind of fertilizer you use in regards to for the okra? Does it need a specific type of fertilizer? And what weather condition does okra really strive right. besting? Oh okay. As for the big okra. You know, really take no special fertilizer for a big okra. Um, it just it just it take too long to pick on the tree, so it becomes big. So in order we don't pick those one for it get so big, we just leave it, make it go and dry, or sometimes we just block it, bend it, and it stay there and get dry. You understand? And we can use it to plant again, get the seed out of it and plant again. And the weather now, as you can see, the sun hot, it it, it, it drop down the leaves them, mm -hmm. so it more strive in a cool time. Oh. When it's in time more cool, it's nice for okra and you know, every, every morning you can pick okra. I, I picked this morning, you still can't pick this evening, that's how okra stay. <laughs> that's why they were so big, get out of yeah, yeah, that's how it stay. Yeah. Alright, try to try and then you will see. <laughs> Do 
pest attack okra. Yes, pest attack okra. Especially, let me know what it is. I'm going to tough box something. Tough, tough box, box something. Yeah, yeah, green? Yeah, green, green, tough. Yes, uh, yeah, yeah. Green, tough I want to squash them out, they smell bad. Ah, uh, then they have a Thinking then, bug. Yeah, then they have a sub. Yeah, I'll come with them to scoop on okra, then leave one spot. So we use one, 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 one pesticide like um, cupid, okay. copperid. Cup, copperid. Yes, I got a max. Um, Dyson. Sit the max, you know, call max, I didn't type of something there. You understand? They spray them. We, we, we have a strong spray, we call it flash. Flash? <laughs> yeah, flash. Once you spray, I instant kill that. Okay. Yeah, and, 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 and by once you spray, by two to three days, Good. It, it, it start, you can eat okra again. Niceness. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Cedric, me and Debbie want to plant some okra. Well, 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 go and do it. So get some seeds. Seeds for you and seeds for you. Okay, thank you. Yes, and oh, should I have a two knife? Yeah, Is that right? Is that right? I just joke, a joke. Yeah, yeah, just joke. I'm putting in. I grow. Look, look at me, can't find out. You can't move around with them because you can't open one spot right there, so. We have two, old, old. We have two right, yes, man. Right. Wow, look how much okra you get for us though. It's a whole heap of okra in Becky? Yes. That's steam fish for days. <laughs> but, steam fish and okra, buddy. So they're not so big. They're not big as I want to get a big one. You can take up a big one for me so we can look at it. Let's measure it. Has it so one here, sir? <laughs> ah! What is this? That is the thing you know we, we, we have to realize. So okra have things in a fish stick here? The big one then. And I, what, I, what, I, what is this in my I, finger? And the small one, I, I, I scratch it, scratch it. You scratch, scratch it things. If you have one gloves, then I pick up. Oh, child! We shall tell us, we shall tell us how to hold It's all right, it's fine. <laughs> We're not dead, we are right, it's still living. <laughs> what's that you mean by should I tell we? Oh, anyways. Yeah, when, when I pick okra for you, you need gloves. gloves. Okay, so lesson learned. When you when you're reaping okra, don't just go in no, there like you're a superhero okra person. You just need, you need gloves. <laughs> So the big test is, can we eat a pepper? Crickets, please. Pass the pepper. Pass the pepper. Pass the pepper on the left hand side. We're eating all of it? No, we're not. All right, ready? One, two, three. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. First person to drink the milk loses. Okay, so. I'll be eating pepper all day. All day, every day. Okay? Okay. Feel the heat. Who says you? Says you? Says you? You bugger you? Drink the milk, man. Drink it, drink it, drink it, drink it. <laughs> it's the last Sunday morning. <laughs> Mine's bigger. <laughs> your iron water. What are your iron water? You alright? <laughs> are you crying? Are you crying? <laughs> oh, I'm feeling it right here, so though. 
my wallet, man. All right, come. No, I'm not biting it. I'm, I'm having one already. That's the way you said, this is it. No, what? You have asthma? You want the milk? You, drink the milk, right? Just drink the milk. <laughs> drink the milk, drink the milk. My wallet, my wallet. <laughs> Excuse me, let go of my hand, let me eat the rest of my pepper, please. Get <coughs> Drink the milk, drink the milk, let me eat the bread, let me eat the bread, let me eat the bread. Drink the milk. <coughs> drink the milk, let me Why you doing this to yourself? You know you can't manage. Drink the milk and done, man. And just lose. That's and nice, lose. Okay, sorry. <laughs> you know, this is very nice, though. I could be really, able this is for a living. Like, it's just so yummy. <laughs> you know, you have sweat? <laughs> You're good, eh? You're good. You know what's wrong? I don't know, I can't feel it. <laughs> drink, drink this something. <coughs> drink, 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 drink. No, then eat it. Eat it, eat it today. Eat, drink. You bugger you. Okay, okay, good. Cheers, cheers. Cheers. You know that bone, I'm here with my That's it for Farm Chicks. Join us next time when we'll be checking in on another farm. Bye. Farm Chicks is brought to you by Volkswagen Jamaica, H&L Agro, and Digicel Foundation. Join us for Digicel Foundation Footprints, a monthly show that follows the work of the various foundations as they make a difference in the lives of communities across the Caribbean and the Pacific in their mission to create a world where no one gets left behind. Well, I have to say no respect again. Thanks again, Digicel Foundation.